Hello everybody and welcome back to downtown Sheffield which means we're going to one of my favourite haunts, Bramall Lane. It's Sheffield United v Sunderland and also one of my favourite away following so this should be a pretty good atmosphere, it should be a pretty good game as well. Both sides kind of moving in the right direction, maybe Sunderland a little more fully formed after their promotion last season but I think Sheffield United are getting to where, getting to where they're going. I think there might be a bit more movement um, in terms of the transfer window with that. Um, Blades on four points, Sunderland on five points at the moment. Should be a decent game. We're about 15 minutes away from Team News. I'm off to the pub. Send poor old Lee to the bar. I'm too small and too southern for that kind of bum fight for a drink. And we are in beautiful Bramall Lane in the tiny curry stand, as I called it in a message earlier on. Uh, team news in as well. Two changes for the Blades. Brewster in for Sharp. First time I'm going to see McAtee. First time any of the Blades fans are going to see McAtee as well. Sunderland, a couple of changes in there. Their quality does seem to be that front two of Sims and Stewart, League One's top scorer last season. And Jack Clark um, and Alex Pritchard as well could cause a threat. Um, would it be right to get another drink? I suspect. For once I'm not on my lonesome today. Here is Lee the Blade. Lee, how do you see this one going? Tight game, enough quality. Uh, Brewster finally finds the net 2-0. I think I agree with you. I make Blades the favourite, so very very famous last words here. We're about 10 from kickoff. Love this stadium. Really looking forward to the game. Really jam packed Sunderland away end as well. Brilliant stuff. Here we go. The players are out. Sheffield United versus Sunderland in the Championship. Twenty gone here. Sheffield United nil, Sunderland nil. Really good game actually. Sunderland have come to play. They're not scared. They're not got an inferiority complex. They're going at Sheffield United, and for sort of much of the first 15 minutes, they're probably the better side. Simpson Stewart, as we imagine, looked dangerous. Looks like there's some joy with uh, Gooch and Clark down the sides as well. Sheffield United come into it in the last five minutes. Um, shot flying in the corner there. I think it was Norwood. Um, just got blocked out. It's it's open, but it's anyone's game. Nil nil. Um, 21 gone. space of a minute this game is completely turned on its head first red card for Sunderland Dan Neal just gets caught in possession it's exactly what we saw on Friday night between Burnley and Watford and he makes that tug back and as soon as you do that the shirt pull denial of obvious goal scoring opportunity red card first free kick gets saved then a corner gets given corner whipped in they're still reeling from the red card Amadotic heads it in 33 gone, Blades 1-0 up, Sunderland down to 10 men, heavy, heavy favourites now, Sheffield United, they lead 1-0. Half time here then, Sheffield United 1, Sunderland 0, but to uh, sum this up really quickly, absolute key moment around half an hour in. Red card for Sunderland, and then so important Sheffield United scoring within about 90 seconds of Sunderland going down to 10 men. If uh, the Mackhams could have got a little foothold there for at least five, 10 minutes, maybe things would be different. But now you make the Blaze hot, hot favourites. For what it's worth, it was pretty even, Stephen, and maybe even Sunderland were the better side for the first 15 or 20 minutes. But now they're almost playing this sort of, they were playing a nice, well, a very Chris Wilder, in fact, looking sort of 5-2-3 situation with a number 10 and a front two. They've now dropped Pritchard, who's not known for being an industrious midfielder, into central midfield. They're going to need to change that, Sunderland, else I think the Blades will pick them off. 
it looks like a nailed on home win unless Sunderland can hang in there and just maybe get some balls into the box from the likes of Gooch and Clark in for Stewart and Sims. At uh, half time here the key moment has very much gone in Sheffield United's favour. The red card and the goal is Sheffield United won Sunderland nil Blades hot favourites to take this one now move on to seven points from the first four games. No sooner has the second half started and Sheffield United have gone 2-0 up, looks very much like game over to me. It's a really good goal, uh, it's a vertical ball I think by Berger and it's the big centre half, Amadodzic, who scored in the first half. He's having a great game, not the first time we've seen marauding centre backs in these shirts. He puts it across the box and from right centre half to left wing back, Max Lowe in the box, right on the goal line in the number 9 position finishes that one off and I think really as a contest finishes the game off. Sunderland hadn't made any changes, they were going to try and attack this half and within a minute Sheffield United have scored. Blades 2-0 up, a long second half possibly now for the 10 men of Sunderland. Well Sheffield United have actually been very selfish here, normally at the start of the second half. I would ask you to hit like and support the video, hit that thumbs up button, but they very selfishly decided to score a goal at that point. Do it anyway. Well, I said game over, maybe not straight away because a triple sub from Sunderland and they have scored as a giveaway in central midfield. Nice slide through. Really good finish by Lyndon Gooch, to be fair. Um, keeper comes out and he just chips it over into the empty goal. So it's 56 gone. They've got it back to 2 1. We've got a flare on the pitch, so I can barely breathe, but. Maybe it's not all done and dusted yet. Still 10 against 11, but Sheffield United 2, Sunderland 1, Gooch with the goal. Well, 15 to go, still 2-1 to Sheffield United. As you can imagine, all the pressure is going on Sunderland's goal. There was a period of about five minutes where they couldn't get out of their own defensive third, but there's still only one goal in it. Um, Paul Heckingbottom's gone to the bench, Kadra, uh, Fleck, McBurney all on. They could do with another goal just to make sure of this because you know if it stays 2-1 a set play anything like that and all of a sudden uh, three points can turn into one when Sheffield United did look to have it done and dusted at 2-0 with the one man advantage coming up 76 on the clock little injury break so we will get some stoppage time so probably about 20 to go in total 2-1 Sheffield United we are into well seven up. minutes well of well stoppage time still 2-1 to Sheffield United will we get any late drama. And that is all she wrote. Sheffield United 2, Sunderland 1. Big moment in the first half. The red card and goal immediately after it. Dan Neal getting sent off. Amad Odzic scores, makes it 1-0. And then straight after half-time, uh, the Blades go 2-0 up, should have probably been more comfortable than it was for them, a triple substitution and then Sunderland get back into it. I think from a Sheffield United point of view their fans will be slightly disappointed with the game management. It was a little bit fraught and a little bit nervy, more so than it probably should have been when you consider the circumstance that they did find themselves in as I try not to get myself run over here live on the vlog. Um, looking at Sunderland they're going to be absolutely fine aren't they? They came to a year two parachute team and didn't sit back, went for them and um, I was pretty impressed with what I saw but obviously the game is really turns on that red card doesn't it? So in short Blades move on to seven points from four which is decent. Sunderland look okay and they've got a kind of baked in mitigating factor with the um, red card and we all move on. Thank you everybody for joining me in downtown Sheffield. If you want to stick with the channel have a look right here and I'll put a nice playlist of all our match vlogs from this season.